Ten years ago, the football community was shocked into silence. Robert Enker took his own life on November the 10th, 2009. A great goalkeeper sorely missed as a person. I've seldom experienced a death that's resonated for so long in the hearts of football fans. A decade later, Enker's death still resonates. His widow, Teresa, works with the Robert Enker Foundation to support projects focused, above all, on helping people with depression. Hanover, 10 years on from the death of Robert Enker, the foundation set up in his name organized a commemorative event to help restate its ever urgent message. With many old friends and colleagues from the football world in attendance. I think what Mrs. Enker is doing with the foundation is vitally important. It's there to encourage people to seek help and give them the opportunity to talk about their illness. Uli Hoeneß joined Theresa Enker for a podium discussion on depression in its many forms. In 2009, her husband saw no other way out for himself. She's committed to helping others in similar circumstances. Robert's tragic death helped turn the spotlight on this subject. But there's still a lot more that could and should be done. What we hope is that at some point, depression will be treated in the same matter-of-fact way as a torn cruciate ligament or cancer. A decade ago, depression was much more of a taboo subject, certainly in the world of elite professional sport. Robert Enker's suicide was all the more shocking given the stark contrast with the strong public persona intrinsic to the job. I could feel how much affection there was for Robert. The sheer size of the funeral service. I don't think Robbie would have liked it. He'd have said it was far too much fuss. But looking at the pictures, it does make me proud that he was given a send-off like that. 40,000 people turned out to pay their final respects to the Hanover number one, their team captain. His illness remained a secret to the end. One day I asked him, Robert, how are things with you, really? And he said, good, all fine with the contract. I said, I'm not interested in your contract, I want to know how you're doing yourself. He looked a bit taken aback and said, I'll tell you later. Two days later he was dead. The team were plunged into emotional chaos. On the last day of the season, they managed to avoid relegation, with Robert Enker still in everybody's hearts and minds. That's how the team felt as well. We'd done it. But the banner we got from the fans right after the game said it all. Ten years on, that sense of helplessness has somewhat diminished, thanks also to Theresa Enker. Coaches are more tuned into it now. Mental health is a prerequisite to performance, and there's a better understanding of that as well. You can't just say, buck up and you'll be fine. There's a new level of acceptance. And the Robert Enker Foundation will continue working tirelessly to help as many people as it can.